After months of cold and gloomy winter, I can finally sense the gentle arrival of spring in my little corner in England. Earth is slowly awakening, and with it awakens my desire to go out and create as much as I can, seizing every moment, grasping spring with all my senses. Perhaps I hold on to it too much, seeing how fleeting this season is. A cherry tree in my little garden opened up its blossoms only a few days ago, but I'm already watching gentle pink petals scatter slowly on the ground, carried by temperamental early spring winds. Everything changes at the blink of an eye, and I am anxiously trying to hold on to each of these moments, but the more I hold on, the faster they disappear. Perhaps one day I'll be able to let go of the chase and live instead, accept the impermanent nature of life and simply be in each moment while it lasts, without trying to keep it under control. I fall asleep and wake up with these thoughts, trying to focus at the present time, nourish my body and soul, pay attention to my senses. I am hopeful and ready to witness what this new season of life will bring. It seems that spring arrived a little late this year. The most exciting event of early spring to me is the appearance of wild garlic on the ancient woodland floor. It arrived later than last year, and I've been going back and forth into the woods, checking on the fragrant little leaves. Wild garlic isn't as common in the county I live in, so it took me a few weeks and journeys to four different woodlands to locate my secret little patch last year. This year is as abundant as ever, and I picked my first batch while the leaves are still quite young. This is when it's most fragrant and delicious, and will work so perfectly in scones, butter, pesto and soups. We still have to wait a few weeks before nature bursts into most vivid green colors, before forest floors turn purple covered with bluebells and alleyways get overgrown with delicate white cow parsley blooms. I pick Earth's treasures with gratitude, knowing that if I love it, appreciate it and give back, she will give more. My plants are big, but time is fleeting. I forage and sow seeds little at a time. I already have radishes, tomatoes, strawberries and peas growing on my windowsill, and I hope this year will be an abundant one for all of us.
My wellies are covered in mud, the air smells faintly of spring and I spend a lot of days outside searching for the first spring flowers. I get affected by weather shifts and changes a lot and I must admit this winter was a difficult one. I started writing in a new journal, trying to catch my thoughts before they disappear. My musings on friendship, love, happiness, existence all get untangled bit by bit and carefully stored away on paper. My thoughts are fleeting and usually come at moments when I don't have an opportunity to write, so they disappear before my pen touches the notebook. I have many plants, many recipes to try, wild plants to forage for, and areas in England to explore. I must say I haven't been anywhere this year as of yet, and to me this is a very long time without travel and exploration. I love to move, explore as much as I can. New places, even in the same country I live in, bring me an immense amount of joy. Inspiration comes from nature I observe and people I meet on the way, the foods I eat and flavors I taste. To me, life is truly in all the senses, the sounds, the sights, the smells and textures, all experienced in harmony. I wish I could share them all through the screen with you, let you see what I see, hear what I hear, smell and touch what I do. The two of them I hopefully managed to translate through this video. I am immensely grateful to you listening to my musings yet again. I will see you next time.